So how do you design a product that's green and that will sell? I've got an expert here. Okay. Kate Swan, thank you for uh, joining me. What in the world is Frog what Design? What in the world is Frog Design? We are a global innovation firm. We work with clients like HP and GE, but we also work with um, startups. We do a lot of work with UNICEF, for instance. Oh, good. So, and are consumers going green? Absolutely. They're going green. They don't know how to go green. That's the ah, thing. That's the consumers want to save energy, but how do we do that? It's really hard to understand how energy works in your home. Right. There's starting to be a lot of energy meters, right? Right. Smart meters. Smart meters. What we find is that simplicity is Absolutely. really the key. Make it simple and make it understandable. What are the small interface cues, the large interface cues in terms of hardware, in terms of software, and also in terms of that whole experience. Very few products live alone these days, right? Right, right. We're all they're, connected. They're all networked, yeah. right? So um, what is the entire experience from the user point of view that's allowing the consumers to be effective? And a lot of that is a design problem. And so if you take an energy meter, you can have a very effective and very intelligent system. And if it's not easy to use, and if it's not easy to read the information, right. people's behavior will not change. You were telling me some fascinating insights on what China is doing in terms of the automobile and the design process. Something like 200 different manufacturers there are, of There are 200 new car companies 200. in China. They are, they're basically leapfrogging some of the legacy automotive companies and looking at the, a brand new opportunity to um, bring electric vehicles to market. It's got to be a simple experience. Yes. So I, I'm not going to buy an electric car if it's not easy to find and refuel that car. Right. Right. I mean, right. it's too much of a headache. Right. I don't care right. how green you so, are. Um, there's really important metrics around um, life cycle and materials and things like that. But the truth is you can have the best materials in the world. And if consumers are not using it, right. um, and if consumers aren't changing their behavior to support the, the sustainable um, product that you have, you're not going to be successful. What's that entire experience? It's not just the product. How do they learn about the product? How do they purchase the product? How can they get educated about that? Do they, um, you know, what's, what's that entire life cycle experience from the consumer point of view? Some of these new plastics that are so interesting, biodegradable, but consumers, you know, they're not that likely to go very out of their way. Right. So from a consumer behavior point of view, how do you make it easy for them? Wow. So the life cycle of the product in terms of the environmental footprint, the life cycle in terms of the product from a customer adopting it and using it. That's exactly That's right. the gap you fill. That's the gap that we fill. I'll look forward to you doing more and more of that.